topic is breastfeeding and breast hygiene. It is a myth that breastfeeding destroys your boobs. It's actually the pregnancy that changes the shape of your boobs. But it is your responsibility to take care of your girls when you're breastfeeding. disagree on this, and the research has not proven one way or the other, but from my personal experience with the load that I carry, wearing a bra at night is a good way to maintain the youthfulness of your breasts. Another recommendation that I have is rubbing aloe vera on your boobs every time you're done nursing because it improves the elasticity of your skin. And also rubbing vitamin E on your breasts is a good way to nourish them. And then another secret weapon is exercise, which is often not mentioned. Pick muscle exercises. I do a lot of exercises on my hands and knees that target those muscles. And sometimes they're not even specifically for the pec muscles. I might be doing legs or butt. But it's also working the pec muscles at the same time. So you are in control of the health of your breath. Today is a better day for breastfeeding for my little man. Yesterday, he was a little fussy. And you know, they can't all be gems. <laughs> I just wanted to do an update to keep it current. So, bear with me. Hopefully this one is, is better. Yeah, happy little boy. So, it's summertime and we are a lot more relaxed around here. Mommy's not working just a lot more chill and I feel like there's some special bonding going on. So another topic could be underwire bras. Um, mm -hmm. They tell you not to wear underwire bras if you are breastfeeding because it can impede milk flow and such. I think it's a, a good recommendation though wearing underwire bras have not impeded my milk flow, I'm able to wear them just fine. <laughs> I like to support the girls. That's just the best advice that I could give for keeping your boobs in shape. discuss another topic and that is the biggest meme of the day is lunchtime. You're seeing it right now. Of course, when he was a newborn, he fed all of the time. And when they get older, they don't feed as much. So, if you're not vigilant, you're a spike.
<laughs> that is a cute little face. Breastfeeding your life is my life. Half of my life. One of my favorite halves. <laughs> Just chilling. Just eating. Oh, it's not even gonna be there. Where are you going? He's been doing this a lot lately. Like he's like twisting all the way around. <laughs> Where are you going? Are you done? Well that was a very, very short session, but <laughs> Okay, that was a minute. You're falling. You want more? <laughs> if you can't see this, look, he's standing up. That is so funny. <laughs> he's standing and eating, huh? There you go. I'm too tired to give you guys any lectures today. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I am tired. And no, nipples are not that long. I mean, maybe some people's nipples are that long, but it's only after he sucks it. <laughs> huh. He had a fever again last night. I think his body fought off whatever it was. But, um, You're pulling my boob down. <laughs> huh. I love you guys. Goodbye. Say bye. <laughs> Say bye. <laughs> Who's that? Say hello everyone. 
Noah's having his feeding. Ow! And very painful, may I say. Almost noon. Just picked up Evan. And now Mr. Noah's just playing around with me. He's not very still right now. But his birthday, so he feels for it. But I wanted to talk to you guys today about teething with Koji. Let's see, Noah had a tooth like, he got his first tooth like a month ago. And he got another tooth like maybe two weeks ago. So now he has two. And he wasn't biting at all for the first one and the second one until like two days ago. He bit me once. And I was like, oh, okay, once. That's that's pretty good. And then yesterday, he bit me about three, four times. <laughs> it was painful, guys. So painful. He didn't break skin, but after he bit me, you could see the impressions of his teeth under my nipple, and it was so painful. So, you guys gotta be prepared. If you're gonna be breastfeeding when they teeth, your options are suffer <laughs> or pump or something to get into a cow so you want to deal with it. Me, I'm hoping he doesn't bite me anymore, but if he does, I'll, I usually just kind of scream and he freaks out and he's all sad, so I have to comfort him, but yeah, teething, not fun. Especially when um, they, they're still on your, your, your nipple, they're like biting you still, and you can't like just rip away because it will hurt even more. So what I do is I just, I use like one of my fingers and I just slip it on the side of his mouth and then kind of push down or push up and hope he opens his mouth. Because if you just pull, it's gonna suck. It's gonna hurt, so. Mr. Noah! Mr. Noah's got teeth. I got teeth. I'm not afraid to bite you, mommy. He's in a long sleeve now because our weather has been getting much colder. Make up your mind.